What is up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. Today, I'm going to be showcasing this Junk Destroyer deck that I have built. I think I cracked the code on the easiest way to summon this card, but there's a couple good sides and bad sides to it, so let's get into today's video. But if you guys are excited, of course, be sure to go hit that like button down below to show your support, but of course, you can wait to like the video until you watch the whole thing. Let's get going on today's deck breakdown, though. So, of course, the central card of this deck is Junk Destroyer. Junk Destroyer is from the newest uh, main box, and the one combo that I figured out how to easily summon into this card is with junk forward and junk synchron combined with what grows in the graveyard so in my deck list i have three copies of junk synchron and three copies of junk forward the only issue is though with this build is that one getting three copies of junk synchron is going to be difficult because it is from the secrets of the ancients mini box and to get three copies of junk forward you're gonna have to buy the uh structure deck twice now so that's a big downside for a lot of free-to-play players free-to-play players are probably not going to be able to build this sadly but for what it's worth this is the easiest way to figure out how to do it because if you combine with what grows in the graveyard skill that starts your uh starts to duel off with a dark verger in the graveyard the easiest way to summon into junk berserker or not junk berserker junk destroyer is by using junk forward special summon it in attack position or defense position whatever special summon it on the field summon junk synchron special summon your dark verger from the graveyard and go for the eight star synchro summon into junk destroyer that's the easiest way to summon into the monster and that's where we'll be trying out in today's video as you guys can probably solve in the replays earlier in today's video that's what a couple of the duels went into there's a couple downsides though for whatever reason my luck has been horrible with this deck even though it's a two card combo and we're running three copies of each of the card i can never open up with junk synchron or junk forward another thing too with this combo is that you need to have zero monsters on your board in order to go into the combo so if you have one of your junk servants or just some other synchro monster on the field good luck synchro summoning into your junk destroyer when you have monsters on your board since the field is really small it's going to be really hard to synchro summon into junk destroyer if you wanted to luckily there's a little bit of workaround against that if you have an Armades Keeper of the Boundary on the board and you have a Junk Synchron on the board, what you could probably do is that what happens is, is that if you um, have your Armades on the field and you have your Junk Synchron, you can use Junk Synchron plus this 5-star uh, Armades to go into Junk Destroyer. 9 times out of 10, you're probably not going to want to do that, but that is an option that um, special summon into it. And yeah, that's kind of the premise of today's deck video. Let's go talk about the rest of the cards, though. So, of course, we have 3 copies of Junk Synchron. We have 1 copy of Unknown Synchron. Can open up plays to summon into Armades and other monsters, but mostly we're going to be summoning into to our mateys if we open up unknown synchron if we have our four star monsters right there which is convenient like i said we have one copy triumph warrior i think if i had three copies of it i would run it over junk servant but um since currently i only have one copy triumph warrior i'm gonna throw it into the deck i'm not really too sure though i'm really experimenting with this deck and running one ofs is sometimes not the best but we're going to see what happens um, in today's video. We're running one Trident Warrior. I think I might run like a Junk Servant over Trident Warrior possibly, but who knows. Like I said, we have two copies of a Junk Servant in this deck. Though I was running three, but I recently subbed in this Junk Anchor because there's been a lot of times with this deck where I haven't been able to really do much. And I thought throwing in an extra tuner might help out the balance because right now I'm running five tuners versus a ratio of six monsters. Um, but I don't know. This deck can be very bricky, of course. So there's that right there. But we had two copies of Junk Servant. Special Summon it with uh, Junk Synchro. Really cool so you can like summon junk synchron special summon junk servant go into junk berserker which is a decent combo or you can do trident warrior special summon junk synchron to go into junk berserker decent combo right there three copies of junk forward of course because we want to go into junk berserker or uh yeah junk destroyer and then we have one copy of junk anchor right there we're running one copy of shrink we're running two copies of enemy controller one copy canadia one copy of floodgate two copies of mirror wall two copies of wall of disruption we're running one copy of junk destroyer we're running one copy of junk berserker two copies of our mates because this card is so good probably the best card in this deck honestly it's a little bit better than junk destroyer in most cases and i threw in powered insect drum just in case if i opened up a uh, junk anchor and a junk spirit i was running stardust in this build but i don't think stardust has room in this deck and there's a lot of times where i don't even need to summon into stardust so i've decided not to go for stars with this build but if i go against a u-bell um in today's video then i guess my luck is bad hopefully they increase the deck limits soon in this game because if they increase the extra deck limits to six or seven it would be a lot easier to play some of these uh toolbox decks that's for sure because a lot of the synchro decks i've been able to build can be very toolboxy and that's kind of it for today's uh deck profile hopefully i get some wins i tried to record this video earlier and i didn't do so hot this deck is extremely camera shy for me for whatever reason so it is what it is but it, hopefully you guys enjoy the live duels let's go switch to those Okay, so we're going against someone that got Legend, or not Legend, got King of Games twice in the past two seasons. I'm not feeling too confident, though, because I tried to record this video earlier um, today, and I just did not do so high. I bricked really bad, and things are not going too well. So I'm not feeling like a confident duelist. I'm really not. Is this balance? Yep, we're, okay, we're going against the Iron Core boys. Um, and yeah, it's like, hands like these, it's like, come on. 
It's like, come on, man, I can't synchro summon. I can't do that. Luckily, though, we have a lot of back row, which is nice. But what's kind of funny to me is that a lot of my hands recently have been a ton of back row and a ton and like little to no monsters. I'm running a ratio of 11 monsters and 9 spawn traps, and it's not really working out too well, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, we're going against the Iron Core, the Iron Core boys. That is for sure. And yeah, and then, then another thing, like I said, I can never open up Junk Forward and Junk um, uh, Synchron, the opening hand. I've never done that before. I'd love to. I really would. But it just seems to never happen. Okay, we're not surprised by that. Um, I don't know if possibly this guy bricks. That's probably like a drowning, though. Ooh, maybe not. Looks like we got lucky. Possibly it's like maybe like a wall of disruption. I don't know. All I know, though, is as long as he doesn't snipe or floodgate, we should be good. As long as he doesn't flood, um, Sniper Flood, we should be good, but who knows? Who knows? Okay, he's going to play Core Reinforcement. It's going to bring back Sandman. And that sucks. Yeah, that's not good because with Sandman, during either play's turn, when your opponent activates a trap, creating tribute this card and get the activation. So that's not good. We are probably going to not be so lucky with Floodgate. I will try to use Floodgate. Oh, shit. Okay. What are you going to sacrifice, my dude? Okay, cool. If we draw into Junk Synchron, we won. Hey, let's go. Very cool. Okay, so what we're going to do is that we're going to go into a Junk Berserker. We're going to go Junk Servant and Junk Berserker. Boom, bada, bang. Junk Berserker, there we go. Next up, we're going to activate the effect. We're going to get rid of our uh, Junk Servant and put that Sandman to low. And looks like we won. Sadly, we didn't get into Junk Destroyer, but we got a Victory Royale. So I'll take it. You got, yo, I guess it's the video time, boys. Because last time I recorded this video, I got decimated. I got decimated. But I guess since we won, I guess you're seeing this video. So let's go, boys. Let's go into another duel and see if we can get another Victory Royale. Next opponent going against, like, Quota. QTA. Ooh, he's playing Tristan Taylor. We got a memer out here. Get the sirens. We got a memer out here. Uh-oh. That is very interesting. Light point boost A. And we're playing our deck. Can we open up the combo? Nope. No siree. We will not open up the junk forward and the junk synchron combo. The junk destroyer is like, I don't want to be shown on camera. I'm way too much of a spotlight right now. Can't open up. It's just a two-card combo, and I can't open it up, so it feels bad. It's just a two-card combo. It's just a two-card combo. That's all it is, man. It's not a three-card combo. It's a two-card card combo. Wow, he just passed his turn just like that. Okay. We got a wall daddy, dude. Unless he got, like, Drowning Mirror Force, this Junk Servant is going to carry us this duel. He's going to give us that fat carry. 1,500 damage for free. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Junk Servant, clearly a superior deck. I mean, hey, you can make any deck work as long as you have broken back row. Let's be real here. Ba -ba in before this guy's Hatred Aid. In before this guy's gonna give us the Wombo Combo. Oh, he's playing Morphotronics. Okay, well, goodbye, Junk Servant. Nice knowing ya. It was nice knowing ya, my dude. So, what are you gonna return? What Morphotronic are you gonna return? Yeah, I think for me, I th oh he shit, he sniped our floodgate. Oh snap, he sniped our floodgate. I was literally about to say if he goes in the power tool, we're gonna floodgate that. You rip. That's a rip, my dude. Uh oh, White Veil. Um, okay. Well, while the equip monster attack, your opponent can activate until the end of the damage step. When an attack is declared, get it till the. When the equipped monster destroys an opponent's monster by battle. Shit. This is this is interesting. Ooh, I gotta read this card. I gotta actually read. While the equipped monster battles, your opponent cannot activate any spell traps until the end of the damage step. When face up cards your opponent controls have their effects negated. Oh shit. Uh while he equips a monster, you can destroy all spell and trap cards your opponent controls. Shit. So I don't I think I gotta go shrink at the start. I think I gotta go shrink at the start. That's scary. Ah, oh, man. See, I don't know, because I think Mirror Wall's effect will get negated from that card. I think. So that's not good. Um. 
But yeah, that's not cool. That is actually pretty scary. That is pretty scary. Another wall of disruption. Not bad. The only issue is though. Ah, fuck. I just forgot too. If he destroys our monster, that's not good. That's not good at all. I shouldn't have set that wall of disruption down. All I know is I'm probably gonna lose because I don't have any anti back row. I, I've stopped using like removal of back row as of late because I just don't feel like it. I don't really like to anymore. Uh, but in a situation like this, it would have been nice. Sorry for any background noise. I might cut it out. Yep. So I think that still works. Oh! Oh, snap. Okay. It negates it. Oh, snap. I was about to say. Did the mirror wall actually work? Oh, make a little. Junk four. That's all right. Um, yeah, I think we're going to lose this one. I just, yeah, no back row. No back row removal. It's a big oof. Um, if he summons to another monster, which he just did. Oh, we're definitely losing. There is a high chance we're losing. And he gets a 6. 110%. 110%. And actually, now thinking about it, I should have set wall disruption. Oh, man. That white veil meme got me. I actually should have said it, though, because it, I believe... Yeah, I've, I actually had all the reason to set wall disruption. I'm just a dummy. Oh, yeah, Armadies, though. It doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. It, it actually didn't matter if I set wall disruption or not. Because I think he still wouldn't have been able to activate it. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is we got memed on, boys. Uh, we got we got the the memed, the memed on. That's for sure. Well, if you guys want to know what deck this guy was running, this is deck list right there. Very memeable. It's a very memeable deck, that's for sure. But hey, you defeated me, so I guess it's worked. Maybe I'll have to try out this deck at some point because it seems interesting. Also, I forgot to check out the other person's deck list, so wait, let's go check that out too. Pretty standard build, it looks like. Yeah, it's a pretty standard. I did call the drowning though. I did call the drowning. Well, let's go to the final duel of today's video. Okay, we're going against Lana, not Luna, it's Lana. Legend rank one, king of games. Going against an Arcana. Ooh, knowing my luck too, we're probably not gonna open up a ton of back row against blue eyes. <laughs> Can we go into our junk uh, forward and junk synchron combo though? That'd be cool. That'd be very cool. Oh, never mind. we opened up a shit ton of back row. I, I don't get it. Like, I guess, my, I guess it's like 45% of me opening up back row. But like, it's like, I... <laughs> Do I need to run, like, 15 monsters and 5 spell and trap cards? Like, hot diggity damn. Like, I just only draw into back row with this deck. It's ridiculous. <sighs> Dude, what the worst part, too, is... Well, I guess not the worst part, because, like, I was about to mention my blue eye... Not blue eyes, I'll make a little... My Gemini deck. And I feel like I do draw monsters more in that deck compared to, um, compared to like, this deck. I don't know. Um, but he's targeting a wall of disruption, so that's fucking gone. Oh, I should have floodgated that shit. I thought I had Kanadia. Um, actually? You know what? This is fine. This is actually fine. Go for ancient. Go for the ancient boy. Do it. Oh shit. That's a lot of monsters. Please go for the Synchro Shoken. You know you want to. Yay! So we're gonna floodgate the Azure Eyes real quick. Oh, Gigantic Castle, whatever. We're still getting rid of that boy. Get out of here. Be gone. No attacking into me, my guy. So, we don't really... We can't really do much in this situation. Shrink. Okay, like, let's just... This is, I think this is going to be just a whole deal where I draw back row. So, that's what happens to me. Don't... Come on. Uh, I'm going to have to reset my game real quick. That glitch is extremely annoying. That's an extremely annoying glitch that happens. It, like, you can't play any of your cards. And then you, like, time out and lose. So, we have to reset the game real quick. And then hop back in. Yes. Still, I don't get it. It's like, why do I keep drawing into back row? I don't like to. I don't like to, boys. Throw that down, though. Such a weird glitch, though. Like, that glitch has been around for a while. Where, like, I guess since I play the game so fast, the game can't handle, like, I don't know. It just can't handle it. Go, machine, go. That's not good. We're gonna get a blue eyes white dragon. Nah, blue eyes white dragon. Okay. Oh snap. Going into that Cosmo brain. I think in this situ oh snap, I'm gonna have to use all my back row. You're gonna go for what are you gonna go for? Okay, cool. Playing the safe game, playing the safe game, you're probably gonna go for the Azure Eyes like you wanted to. 
Actually, if you go to Gigantic Castle, it'll be kind of lit, honestly. Go to Gigantic Castle, please. Nope, go into that Azure Eye Silver Dragon and summoning in defense position. Definitely the wave. Definitely the way to go. Um, as, I mean, it's a good time to use Wall Disruption, so I'm going to do it. Get that Cosmo Brain to 15 Hundo where it should be. Um, now, can't be targeted or disturb a card effects. That fucking sucks. Oh, I was hoping the Econ take his Azure Eyes. And, yeah, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh, we're just going to have to pass turn. I think I can live. But the odds of that are pretty low. Well, whenever he summons his boy, whenever he summons his blue eyes, uh, Dragon Spirit of White, we're going to go for that. Yep, Dragon Spirit of White. Hopefully he didn't top deck into a blue eyes white dragon. Well, even if he did, he wouldn't be able to do the special summon shenanigans, so that's good. Which one to get a target, my boy? Okay, so we're going to play Econ. Throw his um, Dragon Spirit of White in defense position. I like reactable trap cards, spell and trap cards. are very useful. Reactable spell and trap cards are very nice. Oh, shit. That does not help. Oh, then, yeah, we lose. Yeah, we lose. I completely forgot about Cosmic Brain. That sucks. Should have set Junk forward. I thought I could save it, but I completely forgot about that. My bad. Still, I don't think with this deck, with this hand, I was going to be able to do it. Still would have been nice to open up Junk Synchron and uh, that. Oh, this guy. No, he still wins. Yeah, that was the safe play. I was about to say, he made a big misplay and then summoned his monster in attack position. Now he had lethal. He has lethal. That sucks right there. So it sucks that we got two L's. That's what I'm saying about the deck. Like, this deck is cool and all, but, like, I just can never open up into that two-card combo. Someday I will, but it's definitely not happened today, that's for sure. Let's go check out this de uh, deck, though. This guy's deck, though, and everything like that. I'm just still sad that I couldn't open up to like junk synchron and a junk um forward like it sucks that it couldn't that, that just couldn't happen makes me sad anyways so standard blue eyes build overwhelmed us couldn't really do much about that that sucks right there but thank you so much for watching today's you get links video hopefully the dual replays in that first live dual win um you know showed you that this deck is pretty cool this is definitely like i think this deck that i built is a super fun dual room um deck that's like casual but can still get wins but for competitive wise, sure, it could handle meta decks in certain situations, but it's not consistent enough to be a good deck. Like, th I know this deck can handle the meta, it can, you know, but it's just not consistent enough to do it, you know what I'm saying? So, there's that right there. But if you enjoyed and watched to the end of this video, be sure to go hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. If you guys want to, you guys can join my Discord. Link in the description down below. I'll be talking to all you guys. Just ping me or whatever, and I'll go talk to you. And last but not least, if you want to support the channel the extra mile, you can uh, join as a YouTube member today. Go to that YouTube gaming link in the description down below, and you can uh, sponsor or slash become a YouTube member for my channel. It's $5 a month. It supports me as a content creator, and you get cool emotes and other benefits and all that good stuff. So if you want to join that, feel free to join that and become a YouTube member. If you are on mobile, though, you will need to download the YouTube gaming app in order to join it because my channel is not big enough for the official version of YouTube members, but we still get all that cool stuff. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching today's Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!